So strengthen its technological independence, reduce the digital divide, and make better use of satellite data, President João Lourenço announced on October 15th the creation of the Angolan Space Agency. This initiative is part of the country's ongoing national space program and comes as Angola is already opening its telecommunications satellite, Angosat 2, launched in 2023. The satellite currently connects more than 130 rural localities across 16 of the country's 18 provinces, notably through the Connecta Angola projects. As the space industry in Africa, they will have to take off one day, right? So we're going to see more and more, more interest on foreign companies to start trying to collaborate with the local private companies to do business. Uh, especially now with the new space economy where you have the private sector driving this uh, economy. So it's, it's a perfect timing. With the creation of this space agency, Angola now aims to transition from a mere user to a true producer of space technologies. With Angostat 2, a ground control infrastructure, and over 300 trained professionals, the country has established a solid foundation to develop a national space industry in a context where the telecommunications sector surpassed 35 million mobile subscribers in 2024. We don't have the right ecosystem to do space in Africa. So one of the challenges for us we have is all the way from funding, lack of infrastructures, human resources, you know, which makes it very difficult for, for you to uh, conduct and implement successful space program. The space agency will be responsible for leading the national space strategy, overseeing ongoing projects, developing local expertise, promoting innovation, regulating space activities from a legal perspective, and building both national and international partnerships.